Meanwhile, residents in East Palestine not only plagued by worries for their homes and businesses, they continue to grapple with serious health issues. News Nation correspondent Jorge Ventura live on the ground where a FEMA presser just wrapped up a short time ago. Jorge, what did you learn today? Hi, Natasha. We've been speaking with residents here that live near the train derailment but have yet to return home and are living in hotels. Residents tell us that they are still suffering from symptoms and are too afraid to return home. One of the residents that we spoke with is a trucker by Paul Hartman. We're just outside of his home. Paul's home was 500 feet away from the trail derailment. Residents that live near the train derailment that happened more than three weeks ago have yet to return home after experiencing side effects from the toxic chemicals released by Norfolk Southern. Chemical spill and burn off. I have numb tongue, confusion, uh, headaches, dizziness. Uh, I've talked to some of my neighbors the same way. Like I actually grabbed the rest of my clothes that they didn't take and my hands actually like were beat red. It was. It was horrible. Uh, my one neighbor, he's actually still there, and he said his tum tongue is numb all the time, his eyes are burning. Like, it's crazy. It's just crazy. And my other neighbor, they refuse to go back. They won't put their kids in that situation. For the past three weeks, Paul and his family have been living in hotels around town and told News Nation that Norfolk Southern is no longer reimbursing him for his hotel stays. It's extremely difficult. Like. I mean, I haven't been working, so where's the money coming from? It's <laughs> like I'm using the rest of the, you know, that uh, inconvenience pay to pay for this until I leave. The EPA announcing yesterday that they halted shipments of toxic material out of state to Texas and Michigan. Today announcing they will resume shipment of toxic water and soil to facilities I, I, I to in Ohio tomorrow. Moving forward, waste disposal plans including disposal location and transportation routes for contaminated waste would be subject to EPA review and approval. Today, I'm pleased to announce that we have identified EPA certified facilities that will be able to accept at least some of these wastes, meaning that the railroad will be able to restart shipments tomorrow. Paul Hartman says he plans to leave the state and doesn't know when he will return home. Resident Russell Waite and his wife are also living in a hotel at the moment, but their home was just half a mile away from the evacuation zone. Both say they are experiencing symptoms. My eyes feel like they're going to fall out of my head. They're bulging out of my head. I have constant not running nose. Every time I blow my nose, I blow my nose about every eight to ten minutes and I blow nut blood out of my nose. Russell tells News Nation that his wife Julie was taken to the hospital after she said she was feeling like her skin was burning. But unfortunately, the doctors didn't know what to test for. Natasha, unfortunately, that's the story of many in this community who are still suffering from symptoms, but say when they visit the doctors, they don't, don't know what to check or test for. And as residents are also telling us that they need more assistance from local and federal officials, and they feel completely abandoned by the government here. All right, Jorge Ventura, live for us on the ground in East Palestine. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.